Continuing our discussion of tips and tricks for the Model S, let's consider charging. For those who have never owned an EV, and that means the vast majority of all Model S owners, charging is the biggest question mark. But it's really pretty simple. At home, think mobile phone. That is, you plug in your car every night, just like you do with your smartphone, and in the morning it's full. For short trips, there's really nothing more to think about. The, the existing range of the Model S can easily accommodate them. On the road, think planning. If you're taking a long trip, it is necessary to plan in advance so that you'll have access to charging facilities where and when you need them. In order of priority, these are the charging sources you'll need. Tesla superchargers that can provide rapid charging on the go. Public chargers, for example, the J1772 chargers, that provide about 30 to 50 miles of charge per charging hour. And when you reach your destination, private electric outlets of friends or relatives, if that's necessary. With the exception of superchargers that have their own heavy duty charging cable, you'll need the universal mobile connector, the UMC, to charge from any other electric outlet for which you have an adopter. Charging from a 110 outlet is very, very slow. Avoid it except in emergencies. If you need more cable length, extension cables for the UMC can be acquired in the aftermarket. Be certain they've been designed specifically for EV charging. The J1772 plug is the most common for level two public charging. A J1772 adapter is provided with the Model S. Most Model S owners do the majority of their charging at home, but there are times when you'll need to charge on the road. And that's when you'll need your UMC and a set of charging adapters that come with the car. Most people keep their charging adapters in the trunk but there is a special place in the back of the glove box for a J1772 charging adapter. In addition, Evanex provides a charging adapter storage solution called ASLK that's illustrated in the lower photo on your screen. It provides convenient storage for all of your adapters in the trunk near the charge port. When you do have to charge, either at home or on the road, the easiest way to open the charging port is to hold the UMC slightly above and to the left of it and press the button on the top of the UMC connector. The door will pop open. If the charge port is stuck closed, it can be pried open with a small plastic pry tool while firmly pressing on the bottom right corner of the port door. Closure is magnetic, so nothing will break. If there is a power outage while you're charging, your UMC connector may not release. To remedy this, tap the touchscreen charge port button, even though it shows the door is open, and the UMC connector will release. Also, double clicking on the top of the key fob will release the connector. The amperage setting for charging is GPS aware. The Model S will remember the appropriate amperage setting based on GPS location and will use a default setting if the location is unrecognized. If you charge at the range setting, that setting will not revert to standard the next time you charge. You must reset to standard manually using the small white slider indicator below the green range bar. The Model S will warn you that repeated charging at the range setting is not recommended, so be sure to reset to standard at that time. Each 10% of battery capacity will take about an hour of charging. Although the length of charging time isn't particularly important when you charge at home overnight, it is important when you're on the road. The battery charge indicator has markings every 10%, 
So if you're at 60% of full charge, it will take about three hours to get to 90% of your full charge. If you have a UPC, I'm, I'm sorry, an HPWC, a, a high powered wall connector, each 10% of battery charge will take about half an hour. When you fill an ICE vehicle, the flow of gasoline from the pump is predictable and rapid. With an electric vehicle, the Model S included, things are a bit different. The voltage and amperage of the charging circuit can have a significant impact on the time it takes to fully charge your battery. For 110 volt, 10 to 20 amp circuits, you get about three to five miles of range per hour of charging. That is painfully slow. 240, 30 amp, that's a level two circuit, provides 18 to 22 miles of range per hour of charging. 240, 40 amp, a NEMA 1450, provides about 26 to 30 miles of range per hour of charging. A high power wall charger, the HPWC, provides approximately 55 to 60 miles of range per hour. And the Monster, the Tesla Supercharger, provides 150 to 170 miles of range in 20 minutes. In the next EVU mini course in this sequence, we'll consider tips and tricks associated with the Model S touchscreen and its telematics.